Have there ever been a time where you said to yourself, why am I doing what I'm doing? Why do I feel so worn out as if I want to give up or nobody cares about what I'm doing? You preach the gospel, you sing in the choir, you pray for people, people call you and they ask you to pray for them. You get up early in the morning or in the evening and you sharing the word of God and you often feel like, what am I doing this for? Who really cares? I'm just, might as well just throw in the towel and just give it up. Hallelujah. Now don't tell me that you have not feel that at some times, amen, because if you say you have not, then, well, you are absolutely perfect. But I'm not saying that we are giving up. That's not what I'm saying. But as long as you are in this natural body, amen, there are times that are going to come to you when you feel like what you're doing, uh, uh, it just makes no sense at all. Or it just gets to the point where you say, you know what? Uh, Amen. But then again, all of a sudden, the Spirit of the Lord will come to you and say, No, you're not. I'm here with you. And you can hear the voice of God because that will be the voice of Satan trying to tell you. I remember when I first moved to Florida, amen, because I lived in Minnesota for about 32 years and I went to a beautiful church, a word church, where they travel all over the world and preach the gospel and pray in tongues and the power of God and prayer meeting and revivals and in a church where they do major deliverance, a Bible school, and the word is always hot and good and we love the fact that we have prayer meeting every morning hallelujah i used to love to go into go into prayer meeting from hallelujah from four o'clock uh, rather from five o'clock until about uh seven o'clock i love those days amen and now they have prayer meeting i think from eight o'clock until about nine thirty which is still going on. This is Spiritual Life Church up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it was the reason why I ended up going to Africa my first time. And when I moved down here to Florida, um, which is a beautiful area from the cold and everything, enjoying the, Flor the Florida life, amen. And then I began to feel a bit rambunctious and agitation and, and agitated and, and all of these different things and just a little bit discouraged and, and uh, grumpy and, and all of that comes along with it and, and complaining. And then the pandemic and all of that stuff came along. And one day my wife came to me, she said, you know what, you need to just pack your bags and find a church. Uh, uh, or somebody who was going to Africa. You need to go to Africa. I said, excuse me? She said, you need to go to Africa because that's what you need right now. You're not getting that fuel down here in Florida, amen? And you used to get it up there in Minnesota at Spiritual Life Church, amen? And you need to find somebody, amen, get online and call somebody and see who is going to Africa or going somewhere around the world to preach the gospel so you can go with them and get your swagger back, your Holy Ghost swagger back, hallelujah. And I looked at her and I said, you know what? That is a prophetic word. I need that word, amen. And that began to fuel me and begin to fill me up and plug me. And it was like somebody just take a, a, a hot iron and just branded me with the, with the fire of the Holy Ghost. And that began to stir it up my spirit, man, and got me all excited back to the things that I used to do. And sure enough, hallelujah, I started looking for ways to go to Africa or go to Europe or go to anywhere to preach the gospel and it happened and God began to open the doors for me to go out and preach the gospel. Don't get weary in well doings. This is what I'm talking about this morning. The Bible says here in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9, and let us not be weary in well doings, for in due season we, we shall reap if we faint not. And let us not be weary in well doing. 
for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't faint, my friends. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Trust God and he will bring you through. Amen. Now, when that situation began to happen to me, amen, hallelujah, and it don't even think of coming to me no more because my mind is made up and I'm so excited about what God is doing in my life. Amen. It's kind of like a song that I've been hearing uh, many, many years ago growing up. I've been running for Jesus a long time and I ain't got tired yet. Amen. Don't get tired, my friends. Amen. Jesus Christ is coming back. Amen. Hallelujah. And so by going down to the Philippines the first time, that excite me. Going to the second time, that over a joy that the joy was there and to see the souls being blessed and miracles and people coming to know the Lord Jesus Christ and and preaching the gospel hallelujah and uh and going back the second time hallelujah and going to the Bahamas and going to the Turks and Caicos Islands and and going all over the place hallelujah and preaching the gospel and the Lord opening up the doors for me and being able to minister right here in my studio office and online and preaching around the world, hallelujah, and witnessing in the morning devotions and the lunch with evangelist Brian Bassett, hallelujah, and praise, worship, and power, amen, hallelujah, glory to God, no, I'm not tired yet, and I'm getting ready, amen, tomorrow, glory to God, hallelujah, a team and I, we will be heading to Cameroon, Africa, and we're going to preach the gospel and lift up the name of Jesus Christ, no, I'm not tired yet, I'm not throwing in the towel, amen. Hallelujah. When I find myself getting down to that place, I begin to go to Psalms 20, uh, Psalms 23, and I begin to be, begin to rehearse and, and, and pray Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. Hallelujah. And when I get to that place, I begin to fuel up with Psalms 91. Uh, hallelujah. Dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. And when I get to that place, the fuel becomes to me and pump me up and charge me up. And I begin to look in Hebrews, hallelujah, chapter 1, now, hallelujah, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1, faith is the substance of things hoped for, I begin to trust the word of God, I begin to trust what the word of God said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles, amen, when I begin to get that place, I begin to go into Ephesians chapter 6, hallelujah, where it says in verse 10, and finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I begin to sharpen up and put on my whole armor that I may be able to stand against the vials of the devil. Hallelujah. For we know we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. Therefore, I take unto me the whole armor of God that I may be able to withstand in the evil days because we are living in in the evil days, child of God. Hallelujah. Yes, that still come to me sometimes uh, where the worrying and Satan wants to discourage you, but you've got to learn how to stand there for having your learns right. Amen. About, amen. Gird about with the, the uh, having on the breastplate of righteousness. Amen. And after dunning, doing all, when you finish standing, you got to stand strong and say, I'm going to stand on the word of God because I know the word of God is my source. I'm going to hold on to the word of God. I'm going to trust the word of God. Hallelujah. And I'm going to hold on and I'm going to go back into the places where men of God who trust God and they too felt the same way where they want to give up. Hallelujah. But God came to them. Amen. Even when Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane and he was feeling weary and tired and beat down because the weight of the world was upon his shoulders. And he prayed, Father, if it be your will, let this cup 
passed away, nevertheless, let it be done. Hallelujah. You have to get to that place where you can say, nevertheless, hallelujah. Nevertheless means I'm not giving up. Nevertheless, I'm going to press on. Nevertheless, I'm going to run for Jesus. Nevertheless, somebody need to know Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, somebody needs their faith to be encouraged. Nevertheless, somebody needs to be born again. Nevertheless, somebody in a hospital needs to be healed. Nevertheless, somebody in a prison, hallelujah, needs to come to know Jesus Christ. Nevertheless, somebody's hope is being dimmed. Hallelujah. But nevertheless, it's depend on you. Glory to God. Don't give up, child of God. Be a witness for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People look at you. They laugh at you. They scorn you and say, who do you think you are? They don't know who you are. But as long as you have Jesus Christ in your life and you're standing on the word of God, you know who you are. You know whose you are. And you know that Jesus Christ is for you and he's not against you. You know that greater is he that is in you and he that is in the world. I'm here to encourage you this morning, trumpeters and prayer partners. Hallelujah. Lift up the banner of Jesus Christ and declare the word of God. Do not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ and be a testimony. Hallelujah. Because the word of God tells us that they overcame the enemy by the word of the testimony and by the blood of the lamb. Be encouraged today. I'm not tired yet. I've been running for Jesus a long time. I'm not tired. Don't get tired. We're going to Africa tomorrow, God's willing. Pray for us. Shout right now and praise his name. Come on.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I'm not tired yet, amen. Uh, maybe a little tired of jumping up and down and dancing here, amen, but I'm not tired yet, amen. Don't get tired, my friends. Don't get weary in well-doing, amen. You're doing a work for Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Every once in a while, as long as you are in this flesh, you're going to feel weary, you're going to feel discouraged, you're going to feel burdened down. And that's why Jesus said the flesh is, uh, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Listen, if this word has been a blessing to you, please let me know. Be encouraged today. Father, I pray that everyone who felt as if they want to give up, may, Lord, may they not. May they be encouraged by you, even as the angel came and ministered to Jesus when he was tempted in the wilderness and when he was praying in the garden. Lord, send a ministering spirit, angel, someone, Lord God, you send someone that will minister to us and encourage our spirit man in jesus name i pray amen hey listen be blessed today be encouraged today be strong and in the power of god and remember who you are you are a child of god always this is brother bassett the title of this word is simply i've been running for jesus and i ain't got tired yet pray for us as we Make our way to Africa, Cameroon, Africa tomorrow. Amen. God bless you always. You don't have any trouble. All you need is faith in God. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.